Hey, how you doing? Randy Van Patten here in the drum vault, vansdrumming.com. Today we're going to do a, a little something something. It's going to be something about something, but it's going to be cool. Uh, I talk a lot about, I have talked, I've spoke, if you've watched my lessons for a while, about um, adding a little, like, you know, just little stuff, little, little nuggets of fun, little additives, if, uh, spices of your cooking. You can throw a piece of chicken in the oven and it's going to taste okay, but once you add some spices and, you know, pizzazz, flavor it up a bit, it's going to be much better, have much more, uh, it's going to be more tasteful and delicious. So here's uh, an additive to add to your, you know, regular old playing, uh, or fills, or little solos, or whatever you decide to do, but it's very simple. It's like, it's like just almost dumbed down simple. Um, and it's just a matter of being able to control your sticking. So you have to be able to... Uh, do some good doubles. We can't be like sloppy, like, you know, just dropping a stick kind of thing. But I want to make sure you can control your stick and get three hits off your stick. That's four. We're going to start with three. In a minute, we're going to step it up and go four. But for, for now, we'll start with three. And the uh, third one, we're going to accent or give a little bit of a snappy rim shot. I like to hit it about right about there, and my head at the same time, get a nice little... And at the same time, we're going to accent um, something maybe with our left hand with that... And that's it! You may say to yourself, Sal, what am I going to do with that little thing, additive-y thing of jiggy that he's talking about? What is he doing today? Anyway, so, but um, let me just uh, diddle around a little bit and see how it may shoot out of my brain as an additive. How many times did I do it? The winner gets a... No, kidding. Uh, obviously, I was doing a lot of just goofing around and a lot of playing, but if you notice, you can probably hear it in there a whole bunch. And it's kind of just... Uh, uh, it stops the um, the pattern a little bit and it kind of stumps you because like... And how could you put that in a beat? I don't know. Well, let's try here at Vans Drumming. We just, we just, we go crazy here. We just do anything. So let's see how it goes if you were to uh, uh, just be playing a regular beat, mellow beat, and then just throwing it in there and see how it um, changes the dynamic or the feel of the groove, even though it's still going to be a time, but... I say in time, but it's actually not. It kind of stumbles you all over the place, but I'm sure you could, uh, uh, uh doing it in a, in a cool fill.
There you go. See, we're just building from it. Now lap the bass drum before it. See, I'm telling you, you guys are always like, oh man, the guys, oh, that's so cool, how do you do that? Dude, simple, simple, simple things that you just kind of, you know, goof around with. Um, and that really, uh, is, again, you gotta make sure you control the stick, so it's not just like, you know, it will sound good. So, um, um, and then you could do three, like I was saying before, but you gotta be playing slower. Uh, if you do I mean, a four hole hits, you know. But it's gonna be a slower groove. There's another one, ready? I'm just, they're just shooting out at me. <laughs> so uh, hi-hat down first. So hi-hat down, two hits, do the, do the, and you're gonna open it. But hi-hat down first, like uh, almost like, like you were doing with the, like you were doing with the bass drum a minute ago. Anyway, again, have some fun with that. Uh, you can see I was just, you know, it was kind of like shooting out, whatever happened. So, uh, again, goof around. All these things are really simple patterns that you could just uh, throw in wherever. So, thank you for joining Randy Van Patten here in the vault, vansdrumming.com, and have a wonderful day. Later.